guys welcome back to my channel my subscribers thank you so much guys you guys really rock i appreciate you all i do i do i do so much i appreciate if you are just passing by thank you also for stopping by thank you so much today i'm going to be teaching you how to cut a strapless top it is you can also call it a boob top it's a blouse you can you, you some call it uh, a tube so that's what i'm going to be drafting for you it's going to be really quick and easy and you can use this pattern for so many other um, blouses you can use it yeah you can incorporate it into other projects so today i have made if you have if you find this video helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button and comment drop a comment below i really appreciate it and if you are not subscribed subscribe like my video and hit on the notification bell so i made a couple of um, lines on the pattern paper which i'm going to be using to to make it easier and first to save time the first line i have here this is the bust point the under bust the waist line and then the full length if you actually want to know how to incorporate those uh, lines into your pattern you can watch my video of how to take a bustier measurement it will really help you to understand these different lines so i'll drop the i'll drop the link of my channel on the comments on the the link down below so you can go you can visit my channel for other videos i'll just drop the, the link there so you check out check it out and you see other of my videos so in making this um book top as is, as it is called you need to the standard measurement for a chest line is usually eight inches that's the, for, from the chest is usually eight inches this is standard measurement but if you have if you want a modest blouse if you want a modest blouse you can use between five and six inches so it doesn't drop down to your cleavage it will just be on top so for this um tutorial this draft i'm going to be making use of six inches i'm going to be dropping by six inches so it doesn't come down like this like what i'm putting on it doesn't come down like this it will just be up so six inches so this is going to be my starting line so i have six inches this six inches that is what will that is the drop for your tube blouse so the first point i have here which i told you initially which is the breast point i'm using 11 inches this is 11 inches and then the under bust which is this point the under bust this is 15 inches and then my waistline which is this point is 18 inches and then the full length of the blouse is 23 inches so that's just the basic measurement so now i'm going to be inserting my measurement into it really quick for this um draft i'm going to be using um four four inches as my dart line for the middle dart so i'll just take my tape like this and take four inches this is four inches here and then i'll take it down four inches down so i'll take my long ruler and just run a straight line down just to connect all my points So this is this so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to bring it out the dart for this strapless top i'll bring out the dart and in bringing out the dart i'll come to the under bust line the under bust line i'm going to be taking one inches from the right hand side and then another one inches from the left hand side so this is my one inches here and then one inches here so from this under bust i'll connect this one inches to this center of the of the breast point and then from this point i'll measure one and a half from the top part of my tube i'll take one and a half to this side and then from this other side i'll take you can decide to use between one inches or half so i'll take a half an inch from this point so i'll take it like this this is half an inch this is one and a half this is one one and then down back here
that's for the down part i'll take one inch here and then another one inch here so now i'm going to be connecting my lines so i'll take it from this point i'll just make a straight curve like this i'm going to be blending it when i'm done because it's not meant to be straight i'm going to be blending it So from those points now, I'll come back to this point. And then from this point, I'll come back, to, I'll come to this point. So from this point, I'll bring this one down to meet this point here. I'll bring this down also. But before then, I'm going to be blending it. So in order for me to blend it, if you have a, a, a curve, you can use your, your curve. Just to blend it from the underboss parts like this. I need the center to, be, to, to blend properly. I need to get the curve out properly from this midpoint. So the next thing I'll cut it out and before I cut out I'll take my full measurement I'll take the full body measurement for the chest always I advise always measure the chest when you make whenever you're making a tube dress always measure, measure the chest measure it and make sure it's, it is fitted make it very tight so So I'm going to be using 34. I'm going to be removing these two inches from here and then these two inches. I'll remove it. So I'll add it to my to the measurement. So I'll take it like this. I have 7.5. When you divide into four, you have 7.5. That's for the chest line. Plus my two inches that I'm removing. And then plus, but since this is a draft, I'm not going to be adding any allowance to it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'll take the, the bust measurement. The bust measurement I told you initially, I said it's 32. When you divide 32 into 4, you have 8 inches. For this point, this is 8 inches. What I'm going to be cutting out from here is half an inch. So I'll take it like this. So this line, I'll connect this line to this line. Connect it like this. And then the under bust measurement is 28 inches, which is 7 inches. So this is 7 inches plus these 2 inches. This is the 2 inches. So it will come like this. And then the waist measurement. And then the waist measurement. I'm using 30 inches for the waist. So when you divide 30 into 4, you have uh, 7.5. This is 7.5. And then plus the two inches so this is my two inches here so I'll come like this and then come down and then the down part the down part also I'm going to be using 40 inches which is 10 inches for the down that's the down part of my blouse so I'll use 10 inches and then the same two inches that I remove I'll add it I'll bring it back to this side so I'll connect my lines now. So I'll cut it out and connect it and then bring out the neck measurement. So 
So this is it. For the neck, if you go, like I said initially, I'll have the, uh, the link to my channel. I have various types of neck and one of the neck measurements that I'm going to pattern that I'm going to be doing for this tubeless dress now is the sweetheart neck which I have on my channel. You can watch it how to cut it. So I'll just take my tape like this and then come to the middle. I'll use three inches and then the depth remember that it is six inches it is dropped by six inches so now i'm going to go two inches which is eight inches so i'm just going to do it take it like this for the sweetheart neck i'm just going to make it curve like this a back curve like this And then for the for a tube dress, you find that if the way the pattern is like this, if you leave it like this, it will it will be up. So you have to cut it for it to balance. If you want the 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 armhole part to balance properly. So after drafting your neck like this, because it is a sweetheart neck, when you get to this point, you bring it down back by two inch down. You bring it down by two inches. You can decide to. You can decide, it depends on how high, depends on how high you actually want your armhole to be. So you can just decide to bring it down by 2 inch or 3 inch. So for this pattern, since this is a pattern, I'll just go with 2 and half or 2 inches. I'll just go with 2 inches. So when I get to this point, I'll make another curve back to this point like this. So this will enable my tube dress to, to fit properly. I just make a curve like this. So this will serve as the armhole. Depends on how deep you want it to be. Like I said, you can decide to make it five inches, three inches. So it depends on what you want. So I'll just take my scissors like this and then cut. And then cut this part also. And so I'm going to open it up now. So you can see guys, you can see my tube top is looking so beautiful and perfect. So this is it. For the back pattern, you can just take the back piece like so. And then just, most times what I normally do, I don't bother mark, I don't bother measuring again. I'll just take, I'll just take my pattern like this, my back pattern like this and place the front pattern, sorry, and place like this. I'll cut it out first. So for the back, I'm just going to cut it out like this. I have this you remember your one inch this is a pattern i'm not supposed to do this i just for the sake of beginners so you take as in remember your one inch for your zipper allowance then for the down of my blouse i'm going to be giving it a curve of the down so i'll take my tape like this and then i'll measure one and a half inch here to this point like this one and a half inch so i'm just going to be curving it to this point i'll copy to the center point like this so you can see the shape and then for the back 
for the back i'm just going to to be doing a regular dart for my back bodies i just do my regular dart and then for the back for the neck the back neck depends on what you want most times i, I always like leaving it straight you can decide to just leave it straight so you just take your tip like your marker like this you mark it on the mid point of the neck and then you come down by one inch from the armhole part you come down by one inch you can decide to come down by two inch depends on how deep you want it to be you come down by one inch like this and then i'll take this point out and then get to the middle point this is the mid point and then I'll bring this out. So I'm just going to be making a curve like this. I'm just going to be slanting it down to this point like this. That's for my back. That's for the back. That's for my back pattern. I'll take it like this. And then you open up. So this is the back. And then this is the front. So Then secure the back, put this down also. So that's easy. So I have now come to the end of this illustration. If you find this video helpful, like I said initially, do not hesitate to hit on the like button. You can drop a comment down below. So thank you so much for watching. God bless. I'll see you in my next video.